All right, hello, my name is Silver Kyle, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Bronze Age Swamp Thing Omnibus here. And this is something a little bit different uh, for me anyway, because normally when I pick up an Omnibus, it's usually much more popular characters. I stick with my favorites that I knew from the 90s, whereas um, that would be more conventional. I, would, I don't want to say generic, but uh, the more popular ones that everybody knows, uh, Spider-Man, Batman, Wolverine, X-Men, uh, Deadpool, Flash, Green Lantern, those kinds of characters... Whereas Swamp Thing was isn't as well known by the general population. I am not part of that. Obviously, I, I've been I've been reading comic books since the '90s. I knew about the Swamp Thing back in the '90s, but I never read any because I would even back then because I was a kid. I could only pick a few comics books here and there, so I stick with the ones that I knew. Swamp Thing was interesting to me, very interesting because I like the way that he looks. He reminds me a little bit of the Hulk, which I always liked, and. There's a darker side to him, and I don't think that there was any runs in the 90s that I know of, but I knew about him somehow, because I would see older comic books or something like that, probably, because I can't think of anything right now that was a, a 90s run. It's highly possible that there was one. But, let's take it, or like in the 90s when I was reading, which would have been mid-90s to late 90s, was when I first got into comic. I might have started in 92. I can't, because I do have some Maximum Carnage, and that was around... Anyway, <laughs> let, let, let's take a look at this. Uh, so this is the first introduction of the Swamp Thing. Uh, it's all collected in here, and this leads into uh, Alan Moore's uh, take on Swamp Thing, which I would love if they created an omnibus, but they do have absolutes. So, I, I, I mean, I should be even happier because they are even bigger than uh, the, the omnibus uh, in terms of the oversized uh, pages that we get with that. So, retails for $99.99 in the US, $130.99 in Canada. And this includes, uh, where is it? Okay, so we get House of Secrets 92, which is his introduction, Swamp Thing 1 to 24, the Saga of the Swamp Thing 1 to 19, and the Saga of the Swamp Thing Annual Number 1, and features from Comic Legends, uh, everybody here, um, that is included in this entire run. Now, Let's take a look, because it is a Bronze Age, and for some reason, DC does a fantastic job with the binding of their, from what I've got, seen so far, their Golden Age, Silver Age, and Bronze Age books. And I don't understand why these get such special treatment, but books like, for example, um, which just recently came out, the reprint of The Flash by Jeff Johns, why this gets is a smaller book by about 100 pages uh, and gets worse binding than a Bronze Age book. Why is that? That's so strange to me. But anyway, I'm at least happy that we get this book with uh, some good binding. Now, the after the dust jacket... Well, I guess we could take a look at that. A little bit of information. Other books from the Bronze Age, I believe. And it's going to be, because it's Bronze Age, just a plain uh, black heart hardcover with the title embossed. Spine, kind of nice, and plain background. Which I'm okay with. Now look at this, though. Everybody that made this book possible. Table of Contents, which I always love because it is an older book, so they stick with that. I don't know why they don't do this for everything, but I like to see where this started. So I think it's 70s, 1971, and we go up to, last one is 1982. So, uh, no, there's some 83 stuff. Yeah, that's the annual. So 83 would be the uh, last of it, which is Kind of cool. You get to see the, the early 70s to early 80s Swamp Thing. We get a forward here. And House of Secrets. Look at that cover. Beautiful. I love the look uh, of the original Swamp Thing from his introduction. I've seen that cover before. I know a little bit about the Swamp Thing. I know, I know that after this, um, when they eventually go on to Alan Moore run, it becomes... It's, it's, are potentially one of the best, one of the better reads of, of, of uh, comic books from what I've gathered. But I always wanted to start with the beginning of Swamp Thing. 
I'll see if we can get another cover because I feel like there would be a cover here. Okay, so I said that it is better binding, um, but we're about, you know, 90 some pages in and still having a bit of a hard time. I've only stretched it out. Uh, I've not read this book yet, but I, I am still having a hard time. It is one, it's still close, but there is going to be an eye. And I feel that after reading this, it's going to do a lot better. Yeah, 200 pages in. It's still wanting to close shut on me. There, finally, at 240, it's staying open. But there's a lot more. I don't know. I don't know if I can find something that will show us like a splash page somewhere. Obviously, middle of the book now. No problem staying open. I'll show you what the eye looks like. Look at that. It looks like a Marvel uh, uh, book. This uh, So this is sewn binding. And what the thing is, is they don't have a crazy amount of glue. Makes a big difference in terms of when you want to open the book. That's a really nice cover art right there. Uh, it's 800 and some pages or 900 and some pages, I believe. And the thing is though, is that it doesn't, it just ends. There's absolutely no extras in here. So last page 928 and it just, it's done. That's it. So bear that in mind. <laughs> uh, if you like extras, I, I, I mean, I like extras. There is a forward there, but, uh, it's still... Uh, some, some people really like extras. I would just prefer to have what they did, which is table of contents, a forward, uh, and the actual covers, which they do have in this, um, instead of, you know, the virgin covers where they don't, they, I like seeing how much it was. I like seeing all of this kind of stuff that that's, that's what I like seeing. Uh, so overall, uh, I'm excited to get into this. Um, 250 pages stays open. Uh, no go to loss because I don't think there is any splash. Well, there might be, but this is 70s and 80s. Maybe in the later runs we might get something. But uh, I, hadn't, I hadn't seen anything that kind of popped out. No, I think I think we're fine. Uh, so yeah, there you have it. Swamp Thing, Bronze Age Omnibus, the first collection of the Swamp Thing. Before you dive in uh, to the Alan Moore, I. I I don't, I don't know if we're going to get maybe because what would be nice is because the absolutes are recolored. What would be nice is to have the absolutes recolored and then having the, his actual run uh, as an omnibus format. I think that that would be really cool uh, with, with the original colors. Freaking awesome. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. You have been bearded in. Beardage.